you've been running a lot of uh, prototype testing on behalf of the uh, valve makers. What kind of tests does this actually involve? The basic things we uh, have to test valves are the uh, operability, the seat leakage of a valve and the external leakage to the outside. And, and are these tests run at ambient temperatures? No, mostly they are um, the tests we have to perform are at practical conditions. So that means that we have to test the valve at low temperature when it uh, is in practice specified for low temperatures as well. Would you say it's easy for you as a, as a testing company to, to test all these different kinds of valves? No, actually it's not uh, easy uh, to test uh, because we have to set up several test tricks every time. Uh, depends about the size and rating. For example, we can have tested uh, valves, uh, ball valves, one inch on 150 pound, but a 30 inch gate valve as well. Obviously you're testing a great variety of valves. What can you say about the pass rate? The pass rate is unfortunately not that high. We see failures in practice, uh, 40 or 50 percent failure during uh, our tests. So what kind of advice could you give then to the valve makers? What can they do to improve the pass rate? We can give the advice to look uh, for the procedure and which is specified that you have to test a clean valve. So that means there must be absolutely clean for any dust or grease or water. And is it true you're offering some kind of pre-testing service to manufacturers? Yes, we do. Um, we offer a pre-test services, so we take a look for the uh, requirements specified in the test procedure standard, and then we test the valve according to that conditions, and we can give an advice to a valve manufacturer to make some improvements. Now, obviously, you're testing valves under realistic conditions, and that can mean high pressures and high temperatures. So how do you ensure the safety of this plant and your operators? Safety is a big issue for us, so that means that we have done investments in a few bunkers, so we are able to test valves at safe conditions. Now, obviously, these tests need to be properly witnessed, and your own operators can see exactly what's going on from here, from behind the control panel. But what about uh, third-party witnesses? Do they have to travel here to see the tests? In the future, it will be even possible to witness uh, the tests via the uh, internet for our clients.